I've come about an hour south to the Cairngorms, which is one of the most spectacular locations I've ever been to, and it's home to thousands of red deer. Scotland's really big on its rewilding and reintroduction of native species, and one of the things the red deer love to eat are fresh shoots and trees that are coming up. The problem is, is that estates have introduced red deer in order to be able to shoot and make money, and those red deer populations have skyrocketed. Because mankind has slowly but surely killed off all of the major predators of red deer, there's nothing to keep those populations in check. Despite the fact that there are supposedly thousands of red deer all around me, I've driven to the highlands and to the, and to the Cairngorms and really struggled to find any. However, I've come to a location today where I have already spotted some up on that ridge behind me. Now, when I'm hoping to try and film or photograph something, I try and think about my approach. It's a really still day today, so there's not any wind, there's nothing that's gonna carry my scent or my smell either towards them or away from them. I actually prefer to shoot when there's a lot of wind so that if there is wind to my face, it's gonna carry everything, all of my stinkiness behind me. Because it's so still, I'm gonna to have to try and think a bit about how I approach the animals. Rather than going straight up the mountain, as you see behind me, I'm gonna try and take a detour off to the left of them and then come down from the edge of the ridgeline. That way I can see them from up high and I can try and approach them using the natural cover. So this is a deer footprint and what's easy to recognize about it is that it's got these two toes, um, which is how they obviously make themselves so nimble. They've got pointed ends to their toes, which is why they can be so agile in their turns and their jumps. Red deer prints are slightly wider um, than roe deer or, or fallow. Um, and they're also longer. You can see that here it's about an inch, two inches, um, in length and, uh, and quite, quite splayed, but that's always a good sign. As a direct result of the impact that deer have had on the local flora, landowners have been forced to put up deer fences like the one that I'm next to here. The idea being that deer then can't have access to the new growth that's coming up um, and therefore the local ecosystem can recover. They're not, however, 100% effective this one is easily six foot tall, but I've seen deer clear things about this high um, and even squeeze through the gaps. Now, you wouldn't think that an animal that is not much smaller than a horse would be able to jump that high, but you'd be surprised. One way to tell if deer have been around is by finding their poo. Now, deer are ruminants, which comes from the Latin name ruminare, which means to chew over again. Um, and other ruminants include cattle or sheep. Um, and what they do is they digest their food, they bring it back up, they chew it and they digest it, digest it again. Which means that when the poo is produced, it's very small and very dense. It doesn't have a smell um, and you can make out the plant fibers inside of it. If you can find deer poo, you know that there's deer around. And where I am here, there's a lot of it. One of the issues I have when I'm trying to photograph stuff like this is how to get effectively thousands of pounds worth of equipment into fairly challenging locations. For example, I'm next to a nice river here, and unfortunately, it means I'm gonna to have to get quite wet. It seems to be that they're still just on the other side of that ridge. So what I'm gonna try and do is move up that way, come over the top of the high point, and then hopefully I'll get a good view down. It's a bit steep though. So I've made it to the top of the mountain and sure enough, I'm in luck and there was a big herd down below me. I don't like to shoot from above looking down. I like to try and shoot at eye level with whatever I'm working with. So this is the tricky bit. I've got to try and use the dead ground to get close enough to this giant herd um, to get some decent shots. So what I'm gonna try and do is go off to the left of the screen um, and use the ditch or the river or whatever it is down below to get a bit closer and come up from below them. to switch to the camera phone because obviously the camera's in use but I'm about 200 meters away from quite a big group um, I don't know how many get any closer than this I'm just I'm just gonna sit tight and hope that they um they come to me 
I've got the light behind me, which is really helpful because as you can see, I'm blinded, but it means that they've got good light on them. So no more sneaking, just waiting. I'm gonna call it a day there because I'm losing the light and I've still got quite a long walk home and I don't wanna fall in a bog, but I got some amazing shots and um, it was just a real privilege to see so many deer. Um, it's so lovely to see them out in the wild, you know? Um, and just the size, the size of some of those stags is just staggering. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> 